So to solve this second order differential equation, we're going to first notice that it's actually a homogeneous expression since this whole thing equals zero. And that's going to end up making our lives quite a bit easier because then we're not going to have to try and find a particular solution for this. So the first step is to define the characteristic equation. So that's just going to take the coefficients multiplying out each of these derivative terms. So we have a 1 here, so we're just going to have lambda squared, then we'll have minus 2 lambda plus 2, and that's going to equal 0. So now we just need to solve for lambda. So we're going to use the good old trusty quadratic formula that we all know and love, and that's going to give us 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 4 times e to the at sine bt. So we can use this relationship to pretty quickly define our solution to this equation using this. We're just going to have y of t equals c1 e to the 1 times t, so just t. Cosine of, again, just 1, so t plus c2 e to the t sine of t. And that is our solution.